Time. Is it real? The fleeting moments that soar past like bats out of the night, leaving you spellbound and still. The long waits and pauses that seem to last an eternity, like treacle dripping from a spoon. Did they happen, or were they just a dream? Your mind playing tricks on you to help you comply to the norms of society. But then what is reality? Look around you, at all the systems humanity has created. Language, measurement, conventions of architecture, gender, consumerism, relationships. Are they real? Are human ideologies of right and wrong real? We say I was doing the right thing and you were wrong to do that, so lightly. But can you define it? Can you define right and wrong, good and evil? Well, to do so you'd have to use words, and as Shakespeare once said, words are grown so false I am loath to prove reason with them. In a world where we are all connected, untangling the web of events, people and time, to find the right course to pursue becomes ever harder, as by attempting to untangle the threads you risk only pulling them tighter. The Irony of Life A youth strike for climate in the city centre. Traffic at a standstill, while hundreds troop by, chanting songs for climate justice. But most of the engines are still running. The buses and cars sitting there, pumping out toxic fumes into streets full of people. People protesting the way we are treating the planet we have the presumption to call home. So... How should we decide how to act in a situation? I know you're doing what you believe in, and that's all any of us can do. It's all any of us should. A quote from a letter penned by Steve Rogers, Captain America. But is that enough? Because each decision we make impacts those around us. Each tiny choice changes the world usually in ways we could and can never imagine. So what should we do? In a world that is so based on perception, where one person sees orange and another purple, where I sometimes wonder that anything is communicated in a world where everyone has such a different perspective on things. There are ways of connecting that transcend words, of course, and indeed transcend everything even if only for an instant. An understanding between people that doesn't need words, a common purpose, a mutual feeling, understanding. When we come together, often through music or space, and connect. A connection of hearts when all time falls away and you're just in that moment. Or perhaps that is when you're most keenly aware of everything. I do not know for I speak of that which cannot be defined or described, the threads that link us all together, the incredible, inexplicable things that just happen when things link up. You matter. Everything matters. Out beyond ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. Rumi.